Hey guys, I wanted to show you a quick exporting test between the new 2011 MacBook Air and my 2009 MacBook Pro. I want to show you guys how fast these two um, machines export the test and which computer actually wins the test. Um, so the MacBook Air is a 1.7 GHz Intel Core i5 processor. It has 4 GB of RAM and it has 120 GB of flash based storage. The MacBook Pro is a 3.06 Intel Core 2 Duo processor. It has 4 GB of RAM also and it has a 500 GB um, 7200 RPM hard drive. So I'm going to export these two videos I have right here. They are the exact same clip, um, one minute and one second in length. I'm using ScreenFlow and I will be exporting these in 1080p quality, the highest you can get. So let's go ahead and get those settings set up. Alright, so here are the settings we're going to be using for the two exporting tests. We're going to go ahead and get this test started right now and we'll see which one wins. So I will go ahead and speed this up so you guys don't have to sit through this. But if you guys want to watch the bar on both of the computers, which is right here and right here on the MacBook Air, whichever one uh, gets to the end and the black thing disappears and that one has won the test so we'll go ahead and speed this up now. Okay guys, so as you can tell from that little part right there, the MacBook Air actually beat my MacBook Pro when exporting this 1080p quality video. Um, so that's saying something, if this MacBook Air, which is really, really thin, um, if that can beat my MacBook Pro, that's pretty good. Um, Apple has really improved this MacBook Pro with the flash-based storage and the new processors. They're extremely, extremely fast. And I hope they give you a pretty good comparison if you wanted to buy a MacBook Pro or a MacBook Air, which one you might want to get. Um, just to tell you guys, my MacBook Pro is two years old. This is a 2009 model, so I don't know how this will, how the new ones will compare with the, with the MacBook Air. But that gives you a pretty good indication of how much a two-year difference in hardware can mean. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one.